Project on the right, I know the wind has been doing uh, some dirty business to it, but it is a part of our Faces of Black April project. Oftentimes, when people think about the fall of Saigon, it's all about a war, you know, Agent Orange, and, and all that crazy stuff, but Black April is a very personal event to us, and I wanted to put uh, faces to this event that is often unpersonalized, so feel free to come up and take a look at our project and look at the faces um, of students from students and families from across the nation that represent Black April. And next, I'd like to invite um, the Miss Vietnam of Northern California Intercollegiate to give some remarks on Black April. Xin quý vị mời Hoa Khôi Liên Trường miền Bắc Cali 2010 Cô Vũ Caroline. Yeah, Caroline xin chào quý vị. Um, Caroline có vài lời um, Caroline muốn chia sẻ bằng tiếng Anh. As I was growing up, I often heard the phrase, America is the land of opportunity. Often enough, many individuals take for granted this opportunity with little consideration of the sacrifices a family makes to come here to the United States. My parents, being an example, has worked hard to immigrate here to seek this promise because they envision a better future for their children. As I was reflect reflecting on what I wanted to say tonight, I had an epiphany that helped me come to terms with a recent event that I feel is significant to any individual who is searching for their identity. If you can recall, there must have been a point in time when you came to a foggy road and felt overwhelmingly uncertain. Why am I here? Who am I? While I was trying to seek the clarity to help me understand a part of who I really am and where I came from, I learned something important that helped me appreciate what previous generations have done for us. Being born and raised here in San Jose, I never had to experience any of the hardships or turmoil that thousands have endured after the fall of Saigon. I had only heard about the stories growing up from my parents and grandparents. Looking at them now, it's hard to imagine that they have endured war, starvation, while trying to survive as they became refugees and escaped in a tiny boat. They told me that they often wondered what many others were thinking as they left. Would I ever see my family in my homeland again? I remember, I remember one family trip when I was in the sixth grade. My family headed to Thailand for a family vacation, and when we were almost there, the plane showed a map of um, Vietnam, and my parents felt their heart ache. Instead of staying the entire three weeks in Thailand, my parents decided to take my brother, my sister, and I back to their homeland. They didn't tell anyone of their arrival, and as we arrived, they sent us in first. Everyone looked at us like we were strangers and they would be wild. After my parents joined us and they talked to the rest of my family as if they were strangers who just wandered in. It took quite some time for my uncle to realize that my dad had came home and then the family choicing and celebration had be began. It has been 15 years since my parents have been back. Like my parents, many made the same journey and hope of a better future. I am truly grateful of the sacrifices that has shaped my background and has helped me become the person I am today. This journey to search for my identity has helped me realize how proud I am to say that I am Vietnamese and proud to make a difference as my family has. That am Sinh Cảm ơn. Thank you so, well. so much for those touching words, Caroline. And I think many of us born here in the U.S. or for those of us who came over when we were younger definitely had some of the same experiences and some of the same emotions that Caroline has. At this moment, I would like to rec recognize um, two individuals who came here. They are our volunteers from Piedmont Hills High School VSA. So let's uh, give a round of applause to Tim and Lawrence, who have been doing all of our dirty work. Thanks so much, you two. We hope you guys and everyone else in the audience joins UVSA when you get a chance. It's never too late. All right, and uh, now please allow me to introduce our next performance. You're going to get to see on the stage two of the panelists that we had inside earlier, and um, they will be giving you a taste of the poetry called Spoken Word. Xin quý vị mời Phong Trần, Minh Yang, 
Anna Nguyễn và John Vì lên sân khấu. Xin quý vị cho một chào pháo tay lớn.